senior week at the shore. It's an annual rite of passage for many teenagers graduating from high school. And for some teenagers, along with the sun and fun, comes drinking and drug use. It was no different for then 18-year-old Keith Parsons. After smoking marijuana and drinking with friends earlier in the day, he decided to experiment with the powerful drug LSD. That first time experiment and that fateful decision would change Keith's life forever. During a thunderstorm in a drug-induced haze with no inhibition, he began scaling the outside balcony of a nearby apartment complex. It kind of blows my mind that I, you know, like, what rational person would climb to the top you know, of a three-story building from balcony to balcony and then get up there and then just totally, I guess I just panicked um, with the lightning and the rain and everything and I couldn't find a way down and then it just, I guess I, I'm not sure what I was thinking, you know, because I, I was totally out of my mind and I just thought, well, I guess I guess the easiest way down is just jump. And, that's what I did. From a height of 30 feet, Keith Parsons jumped to the pavement below, sustaining massive back and neck injuries. When I jumped off the building, um, they say that I most likely landed on my feet and then sat down really hard. And when I sat down uh, hard, it uh, burst a vertebrae in my back. And with my neck injury, what they think happened was my chin bounced off my chest and the one in my neck luckily was incomplete but it still left me paralyzed from the chest down. We have an airway. Is he breathing? Okay, he has a in critical condition, Keith was rushed to the nearest hospital and stabilized. Give him a liter bowl. Yeah, we have a Um I really didn't uh, grasp you know the uh, the situation until probably about a week later. I didn't want to accept it for a long time. Uh, and of course, there were days where I'd wake up, you know, and then you know, start crying, and I'd holler for the nurses and stuff, and you know, just want somebody there to talk to. And I think that was the worst was the mornings in the hospital, just waking up, you know, by myself when I didn't have, you know, anybody there to support me, and just you know, that I think I'd do the most crying and, and just realizing that, yeah, I'm never going to walk again, just all the different things that I wasn't going to be able to do just from, you know, one night, one time, you know, trying, you know, this drug. So. After his accident, Keith was hospitalized in intensive care for three months and remained in rehab for another three months. Over the past 15 years, he estimates he spent about eight months in the hospital and another four months bedridden in his home because of invasive surgeries and resulting infection. He's had five surgeries and 300 staples to close incisions. Because of his paralysis, he's not able to move his legs or hands and has little or no sensation below his chest. And along with his paralysis comes other health complications. In order to urinate, he must catheterize himself. It can take him upwards of five hours to have a bowel movement with the use of enemas and other bowel stimulating devices. And because of his lack of sensation, sexual dysfunction has frustrated Keith for most of his adult life. But, you know, I'm definitely glad to be alive, but there are definitely times when you know, I thought, you know, maybe if it would have been just five stories, it would have just, you know, ended it and not had to deal with all the crap that, you know, came along with, you know, the this, this spinal cord injury. The consequences, or the potential consequences of just, you know, trying anything once, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. It's just amazing how many hours now that this one time trying the LSD has stolen from my life and from my parents, thousands and thousands of hours just from one night of trying you know, a drug once. It's just unbelievable.